three weeks to the day after the school shooting in Uvalde. Dallas ISD police are now telling parents what they're doing to keep all of their students safe. As Aaron Jones shows us tonight, they've got a plan and expect everyone to play a role. In light of what happened in Uvalde, I want to just make sure that our school's doing whatever they can do to um, keep our students safe. Jessica Andrews has a child who attends Rosemont Lower Elementary School. In the auditorium, she joined dozens of other parents eager to hear from Dallas ISD's police chief. Within the Dallas Independent School District uh, area, it's a chance to give the parents uh, an opportunity to inquire uh, what we are doing to protect their children, our students. Chief John Lawton assuring them that the district has always put a priority on safety and security, following best practices from the Texas School Safety Center. Intruder checks, making sure doors are secure, active shooter training, having anonymous reporting systems, just some examples. He stresses that this is a district-wide effort. Every staff member has a role to play. But it doesn't do any good if we have all this information, but nobody knows what's in that. Parents also here to hear from Texas House Democrats who hosted the event. They say they know how parents feel. When you drop off your kids, you wonder in the back of my, your mind, and only maybe for a fleeting moment, but you wonder. You wonder if somebody's just going to come in and murder everybody. They're pushing for stricter gun laws. I think that we can find that. I mean, like red flag laws, uh, uh, raising the age um, to, to buy these assault rifles, um, a background, universal background checks. I would say to um, look beyond politics, look beyond money, and really look at the people who are being affected, putting like more of a human um, connection there. And at next week's Dallas ISD school board meeting, trustees are expected to approve the budget for the next school year. Tonight, they said they're putting a priority on allocating money towards safety and security. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.